From the minute that we've heard that a person has died, our first focus is on burying the dead person. When you hear of a death, you say in response, if you're Jewish, Baruch Dayan Emet, which means blessed is the true judge. That's sometimes quite hard to say when you hear a death. When someone's died, we lay them out, we close their eyes, we put their arms down, and we stay with them until they're taken to the burial society where they are washed and put into a shroud. The funeral happens often within a day or certainly a couple of days unless there's a post-mortem and it is the same for everyone. The same coffin for whatever background you come from, a very plain coffin because we are equal in death as we are in life and the service starts with prayers and a eulogy or maybe a few eulogies about the person and then we come out to the grounds and we bury people and as Jews we bury together so we take a shovel and we fill the grave together so don't worry about your shoes wear wellingtons whatever you need to because the mitzvah the commandment is that we bury our own dead and then at the end of the funeral starts the official period of mourning and there are seven categories of people who are the official mourners a spouse a son or daughter a father or mother and a brother or sister. So seven different categories and other people may mourn but they don't tear their clothes as they might at a funeral if they're the mourner, they're not sitting in the house. So it's those people who have the first category of mourners.